since winning King of the Beach, I think uh, the biggest thing is really, I, I don't feel quite as much pressure um, in, in terms of my bankroll as, for example, last year was, was my first season playing full time. And, uh, you know, I was, I was coming from like a nine to five job. And at that point, you know, I, I didn't have a ton of savings or anything. I just basically felt like it was a, a good time to take a chance. And, I moved out to Vegas and you know, started playing DFS uh, full time. Winning the King of the Beach definitely was was one of the, the things that helped vindicate my decision. You know, after winning the million, I obviously told family and friends, and I think some of them kind of understood, but there's still kind of uh, confusion amongst some of my family as to what exactly I do. The freedom from playing DFS compared to like a typical nine to five job is it, it's nice. It adds some flexibility. I have somewhat like of a regular schedule, but. Certainly, you know, it's, I, I sometimes take like a two hour lunch break. It's not something I'd be doing if I had a nine to five job. Most days, uh, the first thing I do for kind of my research for NBA is, is following news stories, checking out the matchups. I, I might do a little bit of that the night before, but because things change so much in NBA, I usually save most of my preparation for that, the day of those games. Before I started grinding DFS, NBA was always my favorite sport. I've always been interested in statistics and, and kind of data analysis to some extent. So I do take some of those skills and, and use them for NBA. I think I'm a little more confident coming into this uh, basketball championship than the football one, simply because basketball is more my, my primary sport. I think my approach to the NBA championship uh, yeah, won't be too different than anything I've done all season long. Um, I'm pretty confident in the, the process I go through day to day in selecting my and I don't really see a reason to change that up for this tournament. Definitely when I won that football championship with, with DraftKings, uh, you know, besides the cash prize, which is obviously awesome, the, the experience of being able to be crowned the, the champion in, in a live event setting and, and having the, the belt, you know, around me and, and all of the, uh, the DraftKings girls there, that was, that was a cool thing to experience that not many people, you know, get to do. To win a second million dollar title in this event, that, that would be pretty incredible. Going into my DFS career a couple of years ago, I would have never imagined being in this situation. So I think it just shows that if, if, if you're interested in playing DFS, you, you have a, a real chance of winning a big event if you put the time into it. My name is Eitan Jankowicz. I'm Kobe for MVP on DraftKings. I'm hoping to win back-to-back -back DraftKings championship events.